Today I'll be reviewing the Apple Watch SE. I got this for 200 bucks. The model I'm rocking is the 44 millimeter space gray band in case uh, LTE model. And if you do want to buy it, link in the description down below. So we got the price out of the way. Next we'll get into the design. So you got an aluminum case right here. You got the display, uh, which is used Apple's glass, can't remember what it's called. Silicone band, I'm rocking the official one. And then in the back here, you got a ceramic glass. And then you got your heart rate sensor, these two little things where you can slide out the bands. And then a bunch of text that'll tell you about the Apple Watch. And then right on the side here, you got your recent apps button, uh, microphone button, and then the digital crown. And then you got the two speakers. Overall, nine out of 10 design, premium. If you do want a better design, get the six. Otherwise, you probably, most people are gonna be fine with um, the design of this. Again, you can customize the band in the case when you buy it. Next, we're gonna display a very bright OLED display. I can't remember how many nits. I think it's either 300, 500, but it's pretty nice and bright. It is OLED, so you're not gonna have the problems with LCD where you shift it and it dims. Sort of curved a little bit, but it looks, it looks really nice. One of the best out there. Next, we're getting into battery life. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna say expect a day, depending on your usage. But with my usage, I, I always get a day, um, maybe even two days. Next, performance, uh, it's snappy. We'll open up phone, right there, wallet, app store. Music, hearing, heart rate. Uh, it does use Apple's last gen S5 processor that was found in the Apple Watch Series 5. It's very snappy, no legs whatsoever. It's gonna be a fast watch for the next couple of years to use it. And multitasking, it's it's, it's just very snappy. Uh, we'll get into software now. I'm running uh, watchOS 7.2, the latest one I believe. Probably the best watch software out there. Then you also got Apple's nice Taptic engine. For, surprisingly, for the price, it's pretty premium. You're probably gonna get four or five years of software updates compared to Samsung's two or three. Link in the description down below if you do wanna buy this watch. It's just reliable, fast, decently priced smartwatch. I'm gonna say get it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.